I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather to celebrate this Eucharist, we are mindful of our failings before God. You suffered and died on the cross. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You triumphantly rose from the dead. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You walked among your disciples. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnity of your Son's resurrection, so too, we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions <coughs> for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. <coughs> then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, <coughs> you Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, <coughs> I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown god. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. <coughs> the God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands nor is he served by human hands because he, because he needs anything. Rather, it is he <coughs> who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from, from one the whole human race to dwell on, on the entire surface of the earth. And he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us. <coughs> for in him we live and move and have our being, as even, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold 
or silver or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about resurrection from the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this, on this some other time. And so Paul left them, but some did join him and became believers. Among them was Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this, Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and Heaven earth, earth are full, full of, of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven, Heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too, and maidens, old men and boys. Heaven, Heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven, Heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people be, be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Heaven and, and earth, earth, earth are, are full, full of your glory. glory. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you, he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we continue in Acts of the Apostles, we hear about the growth of the early church. St. Paul, with Silas and Timothy now, are going to Athens to preach the Gospel. And Paul notices that there are altars and different shrines to the many Greek gods, but one to an unknown god. And he gives name to that unknown God as the one true God. And when he preaches, he has intrigued his listeners. Many come to follow him. Others want to hear more about it. And why? Well, Paul is preaching the truth. Unadulterated, not watered down. The truth that has been revealed to him through the power of the Holy Spirit. And when he preaches the truth, something stirs within his listeners. 
a desire to know more about this God, this Jesus, whom Paul is proclaiming. And so the same must be true for us. How often can we have altars to our own gods that we create? We live in a world where there are many solutions being thrown at us. A lot of New Age stuff, stuff that may seem in a view, in a way to be surrounded in some type of faith, but the kernel is that New Ageism, which is not of God. It is the antithesis of God. It is using the power and spirits other than God to do the will and to work of God. But we have to be so immersed in the power of the word, the truth of the word, that we preach it in its entirety. And when we preach it with faith, with our own faith, when others come to see that we truly believe this, it will touch their hearts, as it did for Paul. Because the spirit that Paul has is no different than the spirit that we received at baptism. And so as, as we journey in this life, let us be careful that we don't bring in elements of the culture, but we stay true to the word. And that we are preachers. Yes, even in this time of isolation, we preach the truth of Jesus Christ. And when we do it through our own faith, maybe, just maybe, others may listen. Let us bring before God the prayers of our faith. And after each of the invocations, we will respond, hear us. For our Holy Church, may the Holy Spirit continue to deepen our love for God and strengthen our relationship with him. Risen Lord, hear us. For all government leaders and workers as they work to an end to this pandemic, may God sustain them with wisdom and understanding. Risen Lord, hear us. For all who suffer for any reason, addiction, or dependencies, those who suffer through the illness of this virus, may God's light be with them and strengthen them in their struggles. Risen Lord, hear us. For our parish of St. Mary, as we near the end of our Easter season, may God's grace continue to bring us a deeper relationship with Jesus. Risen Lord, hear us. For all who have died, may perpetual light shine upon them and may they find eternal peace in heaven. Remembering in a special way at this Mass, Giuseppe Comiso offered by Father Jude, rather, Ignacio Samala offered by Father Jude, and Louis Krakow offered by myself. Risen Lord, hear us. Loving God, your grace surrounds us. Hear the prayers we offer today through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, 
God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we make it ours by a worthy way of life. Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But at this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For the old order destroyed, a universe cast down and renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the end of the hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which given up for you. Your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Church, 
spread throughout the world and bring to her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in their mercy. Welcome them into the light of their face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, my spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This month of May, dedicated to Our Lady, let us offer a Hail Mary to all those who work in the medical profession for an end to this pandemic, to healing to those who are sick. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, health of the sick. A reminder that tomorrow is Ascension Thursday, a holy day of obligation. Mass will be celebrated at the normal time that we've been doing Mass each morning. The Mass is now ended. Go in peace. Yes.